Hello everybody, welcome back to Conscious Quilting. Today we're going to be transforming this lovely little panel with some awesome free motion quilting. I'm going to layer two layers of batting, one layer of 100% cotton and one layer of polyester to give it texture. Here I'm starting the outlining process. I'm going to outline the individual petals and separate my individual areas of quilting that I'm going to add texture and depth to with detail work later. I do have my quilt sandwich pinned, not as much as perhaps I would recommend if you're a beginning quilter. I did get through most of this project without any pleats in the back. I'm outlining my areas one at a time, all my little petals, because I want to separate them from each other. This is going to create a sense of dimension and depth to the quilt. And this is just a wall hanging, by the way. This is uh, 27 by 27, roughly. My individual petals, I am using two lines of quilting on each one, creating a space in between the quilting areas so that the types of quilting don't run into each other, and to give it a little place for the eye to rest. This is going to be a very busy little wall hang, so having little spaces for the eye to rest is a really good idea. Now I am starting my detail quilting. I'm putting some feathers in here. I'm using a lovely golden yellow thread in the area where it starts in the center. There is a lot of yellow. And I started off with some matching threads. And then later on in the quilt, I'm going to get a little more adventurous and use some stronger, bolder colors. I'm using a lot of variety in this piece with a lot of different styles of quilting along with multiple colors. It helps to add interest to the piece overall makes it a little bit more of an art piece. This is obviously not meant to go on anyone's bed, although I suppose it could be a baby quilt, um, but I wouldn't quilt a baby quilt this much. But I love adding a lot of different styles of quilting and a lot of different textures to my pieces. It gives a wonderful tactile effect as well as a wonderful visual effect. And I'm also combining more intricate and more simple styles of quilting in this quilt. And using simpler along with more ornate gives a nice sense of balance to the quilt, I think. And that'll come up again in just a minute. But, you know, all of your quilting doesn't have to be super tricky or super difficult. It can just be something simple. The pleasing aspect of it comes from the repeating patterns that we put into our books. Now here I'm going back to a little more intricate, a little more tricky, doing some feather work again. I tried not to overdo the feather work in this piece. It's hard for me. Uh, I love feathers and I tend to put them in just about everything I quilt somewhere. Kind of hard for me to get away from them. I just find them so pleasing, especially when I've worked with them in uh, you know, two layers of batting. 
This is another area where I use simple, very simple quilting, just echoing, nothing fancy, but it adds a nice touch. Here we go with the feathers again. And I went really kind of big and juicy with this feather and I added a whimsical little spiral feather in there. And then some tiny feathers here and on to some pebble work. And the pebbles add just a wonderful, wonderful texture. They're not terribly tricky to do. They're just kind of circles, but not really circles because pebbles in nature are never perfectly circular. Um, but I repeat these pebbles several times throughout the piece as I do with pretty much all the different styles of quilting. Here, I'm just adding some veins to this piece. You know, just some curls. Nothing terribly fancy, but it adds a really nice effect and then outlining it. And here I've started to change in some bolder colors. I've gone to a nice red and I'm gonna be using some orange later on. I really felt I needed to add some bolder colors to this piece. The original print of the panel is very much pastel and I really wanted to just add some juice to it, add some color and a little bit more boldness just to kind of kick up the excitement of it a little bit. You know, the texture is wonderful, but I like to challenge myself sometimes with using a strong contrasting thread in my personal quilt pieces and in my art pieces, certainly. Um, for beginning quilters, I tend to recommend that they stick with matching threads and hide your mistakes better. I'm going through here and I'm outlining that petal in that same thread. Here we have a little more pebble work. I'm cruising through this one at high speed because watching pebbles for too long does get a little boring. So I didn't want to put you through that. But um, I do love the result of pebble work, although it is murder on your shoulders. Here I decided to go back to the center and using a deep orange thread. I'm just adding some more detail. But in this shot, you can really, really see the texture that the quilting has given the piece. It's really transformed it into a sculpture. This is what I really love about quilting is how you can transform fabric and thread into a relief sculpture. That was what really drew me into quilting. I decided to finish the outside spaces with a simple stipple. It was a quick way to get it done and to lay down those final pieces in a way that doesn't compete so much with the rest of the quilting. I'm very, very happy with this piece. It's very satisfying texture. And I absolutely love it. And I hope you do too. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about it. Hit that button.